Hey, um, I'm from Mr. R wanted us to learn, and I, Preston, from his fourth period chemistry uh, class, uh, learned to a B level the following concepts from the first 12 chapters of our chemistry book. This is not an inclusive list, but my selection of concepts from each chapter that I will remember. Um, so our chapter one, which is the intro to chemistry, we learned about um, numeric and conceptual problems that chemists will run into and how to solve and uh, apply those into our chemical and uh, later experiences in uh, chemistry. And um, our second chapter was matter and change and we learned about the conservation of mass in which no uh, elements or particles are lost in any uh, reaction in chemistry. Uh, chapter three was scientific measurement in which we learned that the scientific uh, world uh, we all use the same basic units of measurement there is no uh, difference in what we say so it's a universal language uh, chapter four atomic structure we learned about the history of um, what uh, the atom looks like uh, like for example uh, protons neutrons and electrons make up our atoms and uh, and later on in chapter 5 uh, electrons in atoms we learn about the uh, what the electrons and the atoms look like uh, we started out um, with Dalton's model which was just a small tiny solid object then to Thompson later on discovered the electron and said no they're, they're these particles but they also have these smaller particles around them and then uh, Rutherford came up with the idea that these electrons are moving around this center of the atom known as the nucleus. And Bohr's model thought they orbited, these electrons orbited the nucleus like planets around the sun. And then finally we came to Erwin, Erwin Schrodinger's model, which is that electrons are moving so fast and that uh, different orbitals and paces around the nucleus of the electron of the, sorry, nucleus of the atom uh, so fast that it's more like an electron cloud. So uh, then we moved on to the periodic table, which is um, a table of elements that is uh, made in such a way that it has periodic uh, patterns in it and is grouped based on elements and stability. And uh, then we went on to chapter 7, ionic and metallic bonding, which uh, we talked about binary and uh, yeah, we talked about binary compounds and whatnot. And then uh, chapter eight, covalent bonding, uh, which covalent bond is the share is the sharing of two or more pairs of va co va 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 valent co valent electrons in between two atoms in a molecule. And uh, chapter nine, we went on to chemical names and formulas, in which we uh, learned how to name and um, write the formulas for uh, chemicals like acids and bases. And then chemical quantities was chapter 10, which we learned about the mole. And the mole, which according to Avogadro, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power uh, representative particles of any element, molecule, or substance. And then we went to chapter 11, which is chemical reactions, where we learned how to ba balance chemical reactions, going back to the whole conservation of mass in any reaction, there is no matter lost or um, gained. So we need to learn how to make sure that on both sides, uh, with the products and the reactants, that there is nothing missing or gained in between. And um, thanks. Yee